Hey guys, it's Haley. Welcome to my July reset. Today I'm going to do a recap of how I did last month in June and then my goals for July. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so June did not go to plan. I knew that 30 goals was a lot and I even mentioned that in the video but there were only a few goals that I actually followed through with. A lot of the goals didn't work last time because a couple days after I made the goals, my um, husband's friend found a dog at his work and we agreed to watch him for a few days and that turned into like a week. And I was so busy trying to make sure that my dog got along with that dog that I didn't really ha have like attention for anything else. So now that that dog is gone, <laughs> I think it'll be a lot easier. So the goals that I really would say completed or at least was on track to complete um, were making a lesson plan for my piano lessons that I teach. And that was pretty easy. So I think I can keep doing that. Um, and then I think I've mostly done two videos a week one of the weeks I made a video, but I wasn't proud of it, so I didn't post it. So there's one that's public, but there's two that I technically uploaded. So I'm going to say that I completed that goal. Um, and then the third, I didn't journal every day, but I journaled once a week, and that was more than I had been doing in a while. So I got to a consistent journaling. Um, and then... The last one ties in with another goal that I had to meditate on scripture. And this thing that I did goes with that and is kind of a more detailed thing. So God really put on my heart to love more, that I that love was something I needed to work on. So I made a love tracker. Now you might just be like, what is a love tracker? That sounds weird. So all I did was when God told me to work on love, I just thought of 1 Corinthians 13, and that's a chapter that talks about love and the attributes of love. So what I did was in a notebook, I just wrote down kind of like a calendar checklist thing. And um, I wrote down all of the attributes of love and then a day for each of those. So each day I would work on that attribute and then I would read a verse or two and I would mem try to memorize that verse. And so I would check off if I memorized the verse and then I would put like a star, one to three stars on how well I think I did with that attribute. I've kind of been doing it like every other day, which isn't what I intended to do, but it's still really good because I was not really meditating on scripture very much or memorizing scripture, really. And so that is a good improvement. I'm not done with it yet, but that is going to be another goal for this month is just to continue with that. I want to eventually get to every day. And so the next goal is um, time with God. Um, and so I want to have like quiet time is what some people say, but basically I want to like read my Bible, worship, maybe journal, do a devotional, things like that at a consistent time every day. And so I wrote down 7.30 in the morning. I don't know if that's gonna be the time, but that is my goal. And then the next one is kind of similar, but it's um, a day kind of of rest, kind of like a Sabbath, but um, I didn't want to have it on a Saturday or Sunday because I have a lot of commitments on those days. And so it, I can't really rest on, like, I don't work on Sunday, but I like volunteer and things like that. So it's kind of not really resting for me. So I decided on Mondays to have a day of rest and a day with God. And on those days, I'll kind of be doing what I um, plan to do in my morning time with God, but it'll be throughout the whole day and just be like whatever God um, puts on my heart to do. So some examples um, other than what I already mentioned are like listening to a podcast, reading a book, um, whatever I can think of. Songwriting can be included in that too. Like some people might think of that as work, but it's also 
a way for me to get my feelings out. It's kind of like a journaling process for me. After that is I am getting off of social media for the month. And last month, I didn't include it in the video, but I took a week off of social media. And it wasn't really a full week. It might've been like five days, but I want to do that this whole month because that has been taking up a lot of my time. Um, so the social medias that are included are Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So I will still make YouTube videos, but I just will not watch them unless it's like educational. Like I just got a cat, so I'm going to need lots of help with that. So if it's like educational on how to take care of my cat, like I think that's fine to watch. It's not going to be like me browsing constantly through YouTube to fill the quiet space in my life. So kind of going into that is focusing on Bible and music videos to upload onto YouTube. So I started this channel mainly for my music. My first video was a cover. And then after that, I kind of just went into vlogs. And I did that because they were easy to film and something that I could just upload and get it over with but my passion is more of music and teaching so my goal is to just focus on those things focus on my passions and so i want to do still do two videos a week maybe i want to definitely do once do at least one a week so i will do probably a teaching video on tuesday and then on saturday do some kind of music thing, which is kind of hard to do right now because I'm in the processing of getting my keyboard changed out. So that might not happen right away, but eventually by the end of the month, I want that to be a consistent thing. And then I also want to read one book this month. And I know I can read more than that. I have read a book in a day or two before. So I just think if I set the bar low, instead of overwhelming myself, it'll help me to um, meet the goal more easily and then to um, make me motivated to meet the goal once I've seen that I can do it. Then I can maybe raise it the next time. And then I want to focus on my voice and songwriting. Last time that was one goal and this time I want to make it two separate goals. Um, I might do like one day for voice and one day for songwriting, the academy things that I mentioned before. And then um, daily, I will do a vocal warm up. And I did not do that last time either, but it's very important to warm up my voice because it helps to expand my range and improve my singing. And if I'm gonna be making music videos on YouTube and then singing at church twice a week, I really need to um, work on my skill. Okay, so the next goal is songwriting. My goal is to be writing consistently again. So I'm part of a songwriting group right now that meets twice a month, but I want to be working on those skills on my own. I kind of songwrite randomly and I'll think of a song idea and put it on my phone, but I want to intentionally work with those ideas. So on Mondays, when that's the time with God, I will also include that. So my next goal is to work on socializing my kitten. Um, I haven't gotten her physically yet, but I have adopted her. And their process at the animal shelter is that you have to wait, I think, like three days, three or four days. And if the owner doesn't reclaim them, then um, if they've been pre-adopted, so I pre-adopted them, um, if the owner hasn't reclaimed them yet, then they do the um, spaying or neut neutering surgery. And that usually takes one to three days for them to, to become ready to pick up, but they're having an event, so that could go up to five days. So I'm not sure exactly when I will have her, but it will be within the next week. And so I want to work on socializing her because she was basically a feral cat. So she's three months old, so she's still pretty young, but she has not been socialized. She's not used to people. So I'm gonna have to take it super slow. They said it could take months and uh, I decided that I'm willing to take on a challenge, but it's summer. I have a lot of time. I think it'll be worth it. And um, definitely doing a lot of research on that. 
is taking it really slow, having patience. That is another thing, my patience has gotten better, I think. It's an opportunity to grow in that area. And then to help me achieve these goals, I decided to do an hourly schedule. So at the beginning of my day, I'll start it with that time with God that I mentioned, and then it'll change depending on the day of the week. So on Mondays will be the God day. So every day I'm supposed to be spending with God, but you know what I mean? Like that's just like a focus of intentionally getting closer to God and learning more about him and deepening my relationship with him. So on that day, that's kind of gonna be a more like relaxed, like there's not a certain schedule because that's kind of just whatever God puts on my heart to do. And then Tuesdays through Fridays will be planned out. So those are my 10 goals, which is a lot more feasible than the 30 for the last month. I think that it'll be pretty easy for me to accomplish most of these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Share if you think someone else would be interested. And thank you for watching.